हेलो बड़ी सो आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल प्रकाश वाहिनी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ओके दैट इज डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस व्हाट इज द डायमेंशनल फार्मूला फार्मूला देन व्हाट व्हाट आर द डायमेंशंस ऑफ डिफरेंट फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज ओके व्हाट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ होमोजिनिटी ओके एंड डिफरेंट रूल्स डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशंस एंड limitations of dimensional analysis all these are the contents of this dimensional analysis so let's see how much we can cover today okay i think uh, two or three videos uh, we have to uh, record on this okay to complete all the contents okay so if you are not subscribed to my channel you please subscribe share the link to your friends so that they can also take the benefit okay and uh, <coughs> if you have any suggestions you can write it in comment box okay so can you start okay so let us write heading i hope you have pen notebook with you you have to write it everything because uh, without that there will not be involvement in the topic okay you will look here and there and just you will watch like a movie ha huh? this is not the way of learning you have to write everything okay so take your pen notebook and start writing along with me right so dimensional analysis this is a what our chapter number 2 uh units and dimensions units and dimensions uh and in that dimensional analysis uh dimensional analysis okay now look <coughs> what is a uh, dimensional dimensional formula uh, many of the times we say uh, we should uh, work in all the dimensions in our life uh, you might have heard this sentence so what are the dimensions of life hmm? uh, career is one dimension of your life okay if you are a student study is one dimensional uh, dimension of your life family hmm? your relations your friends all these are the dimensions of your life huh? your economics Uh, your financial condition is one dimension of your life your relations uh, your family relations uh, your uh, 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 friendship okay uh, all these are then your success uh, your career like this lot many dimensions are of life are there okay so we should develop in all the dimensions or uh, if you want to describe a person you may say he is very wealthy okay so he is his financial condition is good so that dimension uh, he is good in that dimension you can say okay uh, his family is also good or he is a divorcee or uh, uh, there are the some problems with his wife okay so means in that dimension he is lacking okay like that oh huh? like that you can express that personality or any person or any organization result of uh, this institution is good education of this institution is good uh, the treatment given to the uh, uh students or treatment given to the faculty members all these are the dimensions of the organizations okay so like this what are the dimensions of this universe ha huh? or this physical world so to explain to describe this physical world to understand this physical world what we need we need some fundamental we need physical quantities that is the definition of physical quantity in the first chapter itself we have seen something which is required to explain the natural phenomena uh, in this universe in this physical world that is what physical quantity and there are lot many fundamental quantities base quantities and lot many derived quantities to explain express or to explain uh, this derived quantities uh, we express in terms of fundamental quantities in base quantities there are seven base quantities okay so this dimensions also or whatever the derived quantities whatever the physical phenomena if you will explain in terms of this base quantities or fundamental quantities okay that is called dimensional analysis hmm? that is called dimensional formula you can say okay so so what is dimensional formula <laughs> okay or what are the base basic base quantities or fundamental quantities base uh, or fundamental 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 quantities okay what are those already we have discussed huh? important is mass okay length 
uh, then another is what time these are the three main then uh, uh, thermodynamic temperature or simply temperature thermodynamic temperature or simply temperature we can say thermodynamic temperature thermodynamic temperature uh, 1 2 3 4 then current uh, current is also fundamental quantity then luminous intensity luminous intensity okay then uh, amount of substance amount of substance yes uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 what are the notations this can be described by capital M uh, this case is uh, described by uh, symbol is time uh, this is length this is a uh, theta or uh, Kelvin this is a or I in some book and luminous intensity hmm? uh, symbol is candela uh, unit is candela to so symbol is CD amount of substance mole symbol is mole ok this is meter uh, meter written as M this is a uh, uh, mass no kg hmm? this unit is what kg kilogram then this is a meter SI units meter second hmm? this is what Kelvin uh, Kelvin is a SI unit for this ampere small k na? small k then ampere ok then candela uh, then mole uh, and these are the symbols hmm? so in the symbolic format if these are mentioned to describe a physical quantity normally we use this fundamental base quantities suppose you want to express speed hmm? you want to express speed speed is what uh, distance uh, distance distance upon time yes or no so distance is what yes upon distance means what length uh, t means time ok so this is l this can be written as t1 so dimensions of speed uh, normally we write speed as a u suppose uh, so this in this way we can ex, ex, explain this derived quantity by using this fundamental quantity this is a dimensional formula for speed hmm? in a square bracket this is written ok so like this so this how many uh, this is constituted with uh, these two fundamental quantities base quantities with the help of these two base quantities this uh, derived quantity is obtained right so this distance is so this l and l to the power here 1 t to the power minus 1 so we can say this 1 is the dimension of the speed in terms of l hmm? the financial condition of that person is good Hmm? financial condition of that person is good speed huh? one is uh, one is the dimension of speed in terms of l like that huh? so minus one the so dimensions of speed is minus one in terms of time so like this you can explain ok but normally normally we take all these three and remaining also we can take if they appears in the formula if they appears in the formula ok then then we can take this but these three are though it is present or not present here mass is not there ok but we have to include mass no mass so 0 huh? so power of m to the uh, power of power of m is 0 means 1 and 1 multiplied by this no problem so you can write m to the power 0 so l1 t to the power minus 1 in this way uh, the dimensions are written these three physical quantities are taken though they are they will be uh, they are present or not present no problem this is also correct huh? whatever uh, physical base quantities are present that much you can take like this no problem but normally mass length and time are taken if present then that power if not present then zero we can write huh? so dimension of speed in terms of mass is zero 
Okay. Now look. <coughs> so, if you want to define uh, dimensional formula and dimensions, uh, what we can write? What we can write? Dimensions, dimensions. Uh, first dimensions. So dimensions are what? This is not dimension. Power is a dimension. Dimension of speed is zero in terms of mass. Dimension of uh, speed is one in terms of length, like that. So the powers, the powers of the base quantities or fundamental quantities, base or fundamental, base or fundamental quantities, <coughs> fundamental quantities, huh? that to be raised uh, powers that to be raised that to be raised uh, on base or fundamental quantities uh, are called dimensions are called are called dimensions getting so these are the, these powers are called dimensions okay and what is dimensional formula uh, dimensional dimensional formula dimensional formula normally it is written as df short form uh, we are we are habitual to do short forms of anything uh, pj uh, yes then uh, rip rest in peace rip rip like that anything uh, so like this df is a dimensional formula now look <coughs> so this is this is the expression uh, dimensional formula means what expression of a derived quantity derived quantity quantity in terms of in terms of base quantities base quantities quantities uh, to to describe to describe its unit from that you can understand the unit uh, so l is 1 means meter 1 t uh, t means second minus 1 so meter per second hmm, mass 0 so kg is not there so like this so from this dimensional formula you can understand uh, units reverse also you can do if you know the units from the unit you can find the dimensional formula but purpose of writing this dimensional formula is to find the units so expression for derived quantity in terms of base quantities to describe its unit hmm, is called is called dimensional formula how this is the dimensional formula in square bracket the fundamental quantities are written and they are having some different powers based on the expression Okay, so this is the dimensional formula, and these are the these powers are the dimensions. Got it? Got it? Clear? No problem. Hmm? So note down this. Pause the video. Note down this. Hmm? So we will see the dimensions of different physical quantities now. Huh? Important, important, and then we will see another part. Is it clear? Is it clear? Huh? Can I erase this? Now look. <coughs> okay. <coughs> now uh, <coughs> Let us calculate uh, dimension of area. Uh, area. So, to find the dimension of uh, any physical quantity, two things uh, are there. One is formula, and another is unit. Either one you should know. Otherwise, it is very difficult to write the dimensions. If you you, you should know the formula. From the formula, you can write the dimension. 
or you should know the units of that physical quantity from that also you can uh, write the dimensions okay okay now look so many physical quantities uh, you have studied in uh, like uh, mass then acceleration velocity speed area volume density uh, some basic basic physical quantity already you, you have learned in uh, 8 standard 9 standard or 10 standard but there are many physical quantities which you have to study in class 1 class 11 and class 12 first year and second year of this junior college or pre university college puc or hsc hmm, if you are maharashtrian okay <coughs> so <coughs> and that is why this topic uh, in many institute uh, coaching classes many many institution this chapter is taught at the end at the end of completion of the complete uh, uh, completion of the syllabus at the end of the syllabus they, because they will uh, learn all the physical quantities and uh, they think it is uh, easy to uh, do that but we have to learn initially and at the end also that is the best way that is the best way okay now look <coughs> so you revise this at the end of syllabus also so area is we have to find the dimension area is what look suppose there is a square hmm? this is a square assume yaar huh? i don't have scale but i will try okay let us say this is a square hmm? this dimension is a this dimension is a this dimension is a so area will be what a yeah, square if it is square if it is a rectangle if it is a rectangle a and b what is area a into b you might be thinking sir we have studied this area and all that why you are stitching again and again hmm? but wait so a means what length length so length square ok here also this is length this is length so length square if you talk about this circle if this is a radius r so what is the area pi r square hmm? so this is a constant value and this is r means l and l square means again l square you take anything you take triangle huh? so this is the height huh? height of triangle and this is the base of triangle so 1 upon 2 b into h ok so this is a constant l into l so l square so everywhere whatever may be the geometry dimension uh, or area is the length square so dimension huh? dimension or base co physical quantity in this is length twice length twice ok so area is a length square so dimension of area r what uh, m0 there is no mass m0 l2 there is no time 0 normally i told you na this is also correct if you write this much this is also correct but normally we are habitual our books are habitual to write in these three basic quantities ok others also we can write a 0 k 0 uh, luminous intensity 0 like that but not necessary these three you can write so m 0 l to the power 2 t to the power 0 so area has 0 dimension in mass 0 dimension in time but 2 dimensions in length got it so this is what dimension of area clear hmm? clear and then <coughs> then then let us talk about speed and velocity huh? speed speed and velocity are the two different physical quantities speed is a scalar uh, velocity is a vector that we will learn what is the difference exact difference between these two uh, in uh, another chapter or uh, uh, I have uploaded one video on vector analysis vector analysis ok you go to my channel there you will find vector analysis hmm? so speed but but magnitude is same magnitude of uh, or magnitude of velocity we can uh, uh, say speed speed is a speed have only magnitude no direction but velocity have both direction and magnitude but in dimensions we are not cons uh, considering directions okay only magnitudes so 
both are equal okay so both are distance upon time both are distance upon time so l by t okay so if you want to write dimension of a uh, speed or velocity we can write like this m0 l1 t to the power minus 1 yes or no this is in the denominator it will go in the numerator it will become t to the power minus 1 okay like this you can write so this is the dimensional formula for speed or velocity it have zero dimension in mass one dimension in length and minus one dimension in time okay then then you can have acceleration acceleration hmm a what is acceleration you have studied in 10th standard yes or no tell me hmm what is uh, acceleration acceleration is rate of change of velocity it is a rate of change of velocity yes or no means for this much distance if the body is moving for the suppose for 5 minutes hmm uh, it is uh, moving 10 meter per second then in this for next 5 minutes or next 10 minutes it is moving with a uh, 20 meter per second so like this suppose 25 meter per second for this this remaining 15 meter or 15 uh, um, what are may be the time okay huh? this is for 15 meter 10 meter 5 meter huh? so like this particular time will be there so this velocity is increasing with respect to time okay so rate of change of velocity with respect to time huh? in detail we will discuss what is speed velocity acceleration huh? micro level uh, analysis we will do in a another topic another chapter time being here you just remember it is a velocity upon time Hmm? simple velocity upon time okay so what is velocity dimension of velocity already we have calculated if not then we can use this formula and we can calculate so here already we have written so i will write m0 l1 t to the power minus 1 divided by t to the power 1 okay so this we can write m0 l1 t to the power minus 1 this will be t to the power minus 1 so ultimately m0 l1 Minus one minus one t to the power minus two. So what are the dimensions of a? Dimensions of a are what? M zero, L one t to the power minus two. Means dimension of ma acceleration is zero in mass because there is no mass. Mass is not required to calculate acceleration. It depend. It don't depend upon the mass. Acceleration don't depend upon the mass. It depends upon the distance covered and time time taken. Yes or no? And uh, acceleration. having one dimension in length and minus two dimension in time okay so this is what dimensions of acceleration clear clear no problem no problem in this hmm are you writing are you writing or not hmm stop your notifications whatsapp notifications facebook notifications stop it okay otherwise you download this video in your youtube and then you watch without internet also you can uh, watch that in that no ad will be there no notification will be there okay hmm how do you stop the notifications another important thing is what if the audio is this video is not clear huh on the top of you, your video th there are three dots on the top okay on the screen you click there you will find uh 148 okay 250 something i think then uh, 480 720 like this huh 1040 1080 like this so normally if your internet is good automatically it will take some resolution but if not taking if 148 or one what is this some some something is there 148 i think so on that uh, you will see the blur video okay so you can fix on at least 480 on 480 you watch it will be visible otherwise 720 is the best way okay uh, if you have good network then no problem you can watch on 820 also very clear video you will have everything will be clear hmm my recording is okay but depending upon your network quality you will have the resolution depending upon that you will have the quality of video okay so <coughs> next is a next we will uh, see 
the dimension of what uh, speed area speed acceleration then we will talk about force we will talk about force can you write the dimension of force ok what is force mass into acceleration mass into acceleration yes or no mass into acceleration m into a so dimensions of force is equal to mass dimension of mass are m1 dimensions of acceleration how did we have calculated m0 l1 t to the power minus 2 so this will be what this m0 m1 m0 this power base same so power will be added so 1 plus 0 is 1 l1 t to the power minus 2 so these are the dimensions of force mm, in terms of in terms of mass length and time mm, one in mass one in length and minus two in time got it clear clear mm? clear force you remember this force m1 l1 t to the power minus 2 because many times this force comes in picture you must remember this otherwise also you can calculate but that will consume time better you remember this ok clear then the next physical quantity is let us say work hmm? let us say work hmm? work what is work force into huh? f s cos theta now huh? so here we will take force into displacement only hmm? in work power energy we will discuss in detail what is work exactly here force into displacement is a work so dimensions of work hmm? dimensions of work is equal to what dimensions of force what are dimensions of force how did we have calculated m1 l1 t to the power minus 2 dimensions of yes displacement yes means displacement so dimensions of displacement means length so l1 ok so ultimately dimensions of work is equal to m1 l11 so l2 t to the power minus 2 these are the dimensions of work ok so these dimensions we have calculated by using formulae hmm? and from that you can calculate the units of this physical quantity or or if you know the unit of this physical quantities and if you do not know the formula no problem from unit also you can calculate the dimensions of this physical quantities how what is the area unit of area meter square yes or no if meter square is only meter square is there so you can write the dimension there is no mass so 0 meter means length 2 so l, l2 t 0 same what is the unit of speed or velocity meter per second huh? meter per second so meter meter uh, there is no mass so m0 meter means length so l1 and s to the power 1 but in the denominator so here that will become minus 1 so from unit also you can write the dimensions like acceleration acceleration is what meter per second square so m0 uh, m0 l uh, 1 so l1 s to divided by t to the power minus 2 so ultimately this will go up and this will become plus 2 ok so m0 l1 t2 t minus 2 t minus 2 will be there so from unit also you can calculate dimensions ok in the same way force force is what what is the unit of force newton huh? but newton means what kg meter per second square this is called newton kg meter per second because mass kg acceleration meter per second square so kg meter per second square is a newton so from this also you can write the uh, dimension kg means mass 1 huh? meter meter means length divided by s yes means time power 2 so m l t to the power minus 2 so 1 1 same is there m 1 l 1 t to the power minus 2 same is there ok so from unit also you can calculate like work huh? joule hmm? so newton second means what this is displacement newton meter newton meter is called joule newton meter is called joule a newton is called what kg meter per second square into meter so kg meter square 
second square this is called joule ok. So, from this also you can calculate kg means mass m 1 this is length l 2 divided by s square means t square. So, from this m 1 l 2 t to the power minus 2. So, m 1 t 2 t to the power minus 2 same is there. So, from unit also you can calculate dimensions clear clear hmm? then <coughs> then energy hmm? then energy what is energy huh? so in work power energy we will learn in detail huh? potential energy kinetic energy chemical energy mechanical energy electrical energy water energy hydraulic energy nuclear energy lot many types of energies ok but and so, how to write the dimensions of energy? Hmm? So, energy is basically what force into displacement, hmm? whatever may be the type of energy, uh, the work is stored in the form of energy, work is work done is stored as a energy normally in mechanics also. Okay? So, and see the formula uh, unit of work is joule and unit of energy is also joule. So, remember the physical quantities which are having same unit will have same dimensions physical quantities are having same unit will have same dimensions so joule joule so dimensions of energy will be what same as of dimension of energy will be what same m1 l1 t to the power minus 2 okay and this is also force into displacement Hmm? Our other type of energy, other formulas are there. Hmm? From this also, potential energy or kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is what? 1 upon 2 mv square. Yes? Yes? Let us calculate dimension of this. Now, 1 upon t, unitless. Mass. Mass is what? m, 1. Velocity. Velocity means what? Huh? Meter per second. Velocity means what? Meter per second is square. So, m raised to 2, m raised to 2, s raised to 2. Okay. So, this will be what? Huh? This will be what? Here dimensions are 2, no? Work, what are the dimensions of work? 1, 2, 2 minus 2, 1, 2 minus 2. Okay. So, s square. So, what are the dimensions? Uh, this, this mass is m, meter means length length square so length square second square means time square ok time square means t to the power minus 2 yes from this also we are we are getting same so whatever may be the type of energy kinetic energy potential energy any other type of energy hmm, you will get same basically it is a equivalent to the work clear clear huh? Any other physical quantity we can calculate is hmm? yes. Let us talk about momentum. Hmm? Momentum. What is momentum? This force uh, is equal to m a momentum. This we have studied in new laws of motion. Uh, again, we will study in laws of motion. <coughs> okay. So. Mm -hmm. ok momentum momentum hmm? momentum what is momentum mass into mass into velocity yes mass into velocity momentum normally written as p is equal to mass into velocity so dimensions of p or momentum dimensions of mass m1 dimensions of velocity meter per second ok so, meter means length L1, yes T1, T minus 1. Okay. So, ultimately what you are getting? M1, L1, T to the power minus 1. Correct na? Correct na? Look, mass M1, velocity meter per second, meter means length L1, Ts means time 1. So, L1, T minus 1. So, this will be there. So, this is the dimension of uh, momentum. Clear? Clear? Okay. 
So, clear no? Now, uh, let us uh, calculate uh, pressure, uh, dimensions for pressure, dimension for pressure. So, pressure is what? Force upon area, C, force upon area. Force will come in many uh, physical quantities, force upon area. Dimensions of force are what? M1, L1, T to the power minus 2, yes? Correct na? Huh? Correct or not? Force, force is equal to what? Huh? Mass into uh, m into a mass into uh, acceleration mass m1 uh, acceleration acceleration is velocity upon time okay uh, velocity upon time velocity means what velocity dimensions of velocity are what uh, here we have written no dimensions of velocity uh, l1 t to the power minus 1 l1 t to the power minus 1 okay and divided by t so t2 so m1 l1 t to the power minus 2 are the dimensions of force yes or no hmm? divided by area area means l square so ultimately m1 l to the power 1 minus 2 yes or no l1 t2 this will be l to the power minus 2 ultimately m1 l1 hmm? this 1 this minus 2 will become 1 minus 2 means minus 1 and t to the power minus 2 ok so these are the dimensions of pressure so in this way you can calculate dimensions for different physical quantities you must understand uh, you must uh, know the formula or unit of that from that you can find the dimensions so what we have covered today we have learned the meaning of dimensional formula then meaning of dimensions uh, that is power of the fundamental quantities uh, to be raised okay then we have seen the uh, different dimensional formulae for different physical quantities ok i think uh, this much is sufficient for today's lecture in next video uh, we will talk about principle of homogeneity then uh, uh, uses of or applications of dimensions and limitations of uh, limitations of dimensions uh, we will solve some uh, numericals uh, based on uh, uh, which can be asked in neat and je also ok so till then study well revise this video note down everything it is very simple uh, topic and uh, uh, very easy and very important also hmm? clear so uh, and uh, you don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to convince others to subscribe my channel share the link to the others it's free coaching okay thank you best of luck bye